the joints in the knees and stuff. They're very... Oh, his head just... Oh, God, his hat... Oh, no, his hat just fell off. Oh, his other arm just fell off. Hey! We're gonna do a special edition mishmash mega post. I have lots of Halloween toys, little Halloween toys that I need to get open. We have this Playmobil 2-pack. We have these sick bricks. We have this connects plants and zombies. We have these slug zombies, series four, what? Where's one, two, and three? We have these Lego minifigures, the haunted spooky ones. We have this Playmobil one that I know that that doesn't look spooky at first, but I just know what's inside. And we got this pack of Monster High playing cards. Let's just rip this open. Let's start with this Playmobil spooky set. Cool. Oh, I paid $2.99 for that. There's another Halloween set. And it's really cool. I wonder if there's a picture of it in here. I didn't get it. It was on sale last week for $19.99. I should have probably got it. But I like Playmobil 123 more than I do regular Playmobil. Playmobil 123 is more for babies. All right, so let's take a look here. Got a vampire boy and a vampire girl. A look at the back of the card. Got a spooky backdrop there. And we got this vampire, better known as Dracula, better known as Draculaura's daddy. He's got a candlestick he can hold. Their articulation, they bend at the waist and their arms and their heads move. I mean, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff, I'd have to say. And the vampire girl, she has a goblet in her hand and she's got some wings and like this crown thing and her skirt is like one piece that's interesting and they've got very pale skin those are awesome let's move on plants versus zombies have i ever opened any plants versus zombies before i can't say that i have there's some shooting option i know see i don't play video games that's what separates me from the rest of these toy tubers a lot of them play video games i ain't got time for that barely get these videos done as it is so many extra pieces what is all that for what is this what is that i didn't actually think that it came with the set oh do i have to build that what is that oh the zombies are really cute his head fell off right out of the package i think that's very fitting i mean he's a zombie right oh his arm just fell off i guess they don't stay together very well but i guess it's okay for movement this might be my first connects the joints in the knees and stuff they're very oh his head just oh god his hat oh no his hat just fell off oh his other arm just fell off they're very delicate and they fall apart and they've got an elbow joint connects wow guys and the details really good too holy they're like realistic his hat keeps falling off american made parts that's really cool too china made parts half made in china half made in america i wasn't counting on this being some kind of building project whoa what what uh, why uh, i wasn't counting on this i just wanted to show some stuff it's really interesting how these things snap into place. Um, I might have fun building with these things. So if I would have paid attention, I would have seen that it's a pirate ship building set. I just didn't know what Kinex was all about, I don't think. I have only really seen the figures and stuff that they've been making. I did not know that it was a building set. And I'm pleasantly surprised how easy it was to construct and how enjoyable the experience was. Very molecular, and it definitely does resemble a pirate ship. It doesn't really hold up to the intricate design of the minifigures, but nonetheless, it is pretty cool looking. So I can stand him up on his pirate ship, where you see there's a mass and there's a gun on the back, a cannon, I guess you would call that. And yeah, it was fun to build, I have to say. And it also comes with this plant. I guess you guys know a lot about these plants. 
you would call this a Venus flytrap. Now it's one of the non-spring-loaded things where you have to use your finger, which I find both painful and mm, underwhelming, but it functions like that. You flick it with your finger and go And it also comes with an extra one, which is convenient. Uh, I can't get this one to work. Ow! Anyhow, this is what this zombie eating plant looks like. Which, again, the design is really cool. Kind of looks like a dragon. Got a lot of toys to look at. Let's move on. Let's do these slug zombies. Scary little ugly guys. Series 4, collect them all. Do you think they're all gonna come in here? So I guess this is series four, so I'm not gonna get the whole series in this box. Whoa, they're really cool. First one I took was this barbaric one that kind of looks like an old He-Man. So, the brain-eating barbarian. He's awesome. And then we got this guy, and he's a gruesome Gabe. He's pulling his brains out of his head. The designs on these are incredible. And I got this rocker. This is Jim making me sick. The sculpts are so good on these. This is Dismembered Dennis. He's in a few boxes. Oh, this one's in a different color. He's Sawblade Samson. Oh, he's a zombie killer, I think. Oh no, he looks like a zombie too. I don't know why he's a different color. Let me look at the other guy who's the same color. And he's a buckskin bill. Maybe they are humans. That's why they make them pink. Or usually that's a coonskin hat, but that doesn't look like a raccoon. Maybe it is. He's got his rifle ready for shooting. This guy looks dead though, so I don't... Does he look like a zombie to you, or does he look like a human? This guy has an ice cream. He's two scoops too late, Steve. Oh, he's got the bow tie on, so I guess he worked at the ice cream shop. Don't you love the designs of these? Decomposing Dan. And he looks like he is a painter of some sort. Is that somebody else's hand? He took somebody else's painting hand away, perhaps? Here's a cute little one. Deranged Denise. She's got a little teddy bear friend. Yeah, she's cool. And this one, she probably works at the ice cream parlor too, or the diner. And her name is Moldy Moxie. Got like a milkshake she's delivering up there. Luba Lifeless, and he looks like he had a problem with a monkey wrench. He's got crazy hair. And last but certainly not least is this pirate guy, English Dead Guard. And he's got a hole right through him. Crazy. Oh, those are really cool. Those are slug zombies. Scary little ugly guys. Let's open up a Lego minifigure. Oh, I need scissors. Do Legos have a tear tab? Of course I forgot my scissors. Oh, it smells. These are the ones you can get. Which one do you think I got? I got the fly guy. He's got a really cool head. I didn't know his head was this. Nobody's ever mentioned that he was translucent. Very easy build. Just using my hand as a light backdrop. He's awesome. I like him. He's weird. He's like no other Lego I've ever got before. Let's open up this Playmobil Series 9. I'm doing it for Halloween. Which one do you think I've got? Oh, I want to thank my friend Andy for sending me all the blind bags in today's episode. Thanks, Andy. So here's some more of all of the ones you can get in Series 9. If you guessed Ghost, you guessed correctly. This is the Ghost's shell. That's really cute. But wait till you see what he looks like underneath. I find it so funny because you don't normally build Playmobil figures, but you do have to build them for these. So this guy actually doubles in awesomeness. All right, here he is. 
looking pretty cool. He's a skeleton. Underneath this ghostly costume, you slip this over the top, and underneath he's a skeleton. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, oh, he is awesome. Got little red eyes. Love him. He's definitely a great addition to my vampires today. Okay, let's do these sick bricks. Should have I showed you the package first? I don't know anything else about sick bricks either. I think they're definitely obsolete now. Mix and match your figures. What series was this? One set. They were made by Spin Master. Get sucked into the game. So I guess it's a game that's a scan to play video game. Very similar to Mixicues, huh? But for boys and gross. Mix and match. Scan and battle. I wonder if it knows when you mix and match and put the same outfit that you've chosen on. Here's a checklist of more of the ones you can get. Do they still make these or are these totally obsolete? Because I haven't been seeing them around and I know that they're on clearance. They were on clearance everywhere. Well, you can take the arms out. So this guy, he has a rose. That's cool. And then this guy has a knife and a belt made with a rope. Okay, this guy is more like an army guy. So he's got this shield and he's got army fatigues on. It's a swat on his head. So that one I got figured out. This guy, he is definitely a zombie. Oh, guess so. Some are monsters and some are real people so he's got an axe and then I have a cop that's disembodied so I'm gonna put a cop together for you oh, he has a hat I don't see anybody else with a hat I think the hat goes on like that that's much better I'll do one little mix and match I think this guy is my favorite I like the zombie guy really like the details on his face how about I put him in the cop's costume? So let's say that he ate the cop. And then he took his outfit. So then I'm also gonna put his ax in his other hand. So that's the kind of stuff you can do. He's got his billy club and his ax now. Oh, and they also come with these two little things. So I guess one is for monsters against the city. I think I got this. Sick bricks were very intuitive. It's too bad they didn't catch on. I don't know. Maybe they did. I have no idea. Again, I'm not a video game kind of guy. Awesome. Sick bricks. Right, let's do this. I don't know what this one is. Who do I hope for? Let me look at the checklist. Out of all of these, I think the one I want the most. The skeleton or the werewolf would be cool. I kind of like the crazy scientist too. I kind of like a lot of them. I already have the the Venus flytrap guy. It's the ghost boy. Awesome. I'm okay with the ghost boy. I like the ghost boy. I don't know why I didn't mention him. He looks awesome. I've never seen them do such great crazy things with translucentness before. So yeah, that's the ghost. He's got like this translucent base and a fabric cape, and a nice dangly chain handcuffs. Holy moth-eaten cape. So good. So very, very cool. He is awesome. Love him. I'm gonna flip through all of the Monster High cards at the end of this video, if you're interested in seeing what those look like. I don't know how good this thumbnail is gonna be. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Stick around. Stick around for the Monster High unveiling. The Monster High playing cards. Alright, so it looks like there's lots of different patterns and ghouls and let's see what's going on in here there's uno cards and i'm not sure if there are two different series 
Or maybe these are a few different series, but I just thought I would take a look at these cool playing cards. I also have some zombie cards that I got from the dollar store. I might look at them in another video if I have time, but yeah, let's take a look at these cards. The Joker is like a mix and match of the guys. So that's cool. This is the other Joker. Let me show that's a, it's the same card, I don't know what I'm showing you. And here is what all of the backs of the cards look like. We have A for Abby. Cool. Two for Rochelle. Let's see how well I can do this. Three for Spectra. Venus is number four. Oh, it says their names on it. Well, it said Venus. Frankie is right here, number five. We got Rebecca is number six. We got Laguna is number seven. These are better than I thought. I wonder if they're going to start repeating themselves. Eight is... Claude. Um, we got Gulia for number nine. We got Draculaurus number 10. Deuce is the Jack. We got Cleo as the Queen. And Holt is the King. Now those were hearts. And then they are all the same. Let's see if there's anything else special here. No, that's it. All right, these are really cool. I hope you enjoyed that. I don't have to say we'll see you next time because I already did that. Make sure to check out my other Halloween videos though. There's lots of them.